All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. We're sitting up here at the old range at 944 in Carlisle, Pennsylvania. Uh, I wanted to test out this Pro Chrono. I had one before. I left it over at Mifflin County Sportsman's Association. So if anybody has one, just could you, like, buzz me down below, say, hey, I found it sitting at one of the stages in the bays out there. Anyway, this thing's made by the guys over there at Competition Electronics. Uh, it's a pretty neat little deal, because what you can do, it'll get tethered to either an, a pad, tablet, telephone, and it'll give you all the cool stuff, standard deviation, all the other neat things. Uh, but it is a really, really neat trick. So I'm going to go ahead and start it. We're going to give you a, just a re real quick demonstration out here on the field. We're going to take it back and show you what it looks like under uh, some lights. So what you got to do is we need to go out here. It's connected. All right, so we don't have to reconnect it. All you got to do is turn it on. It'll automatically connect to this thing. We're going to go new. We're going to say video, vid, and then we're going to go uh, X5, Legion X5. And by the way, we're shooting the, these guys right here. This is the Callaway Ballistics, 124 grain open tip. Uh, Hal over there at Callaway Ballistics, a great dude. You get free shipping using the KB32 TAC uh, with orders over 200. And their prices are very, very competitive. I always like to support the guys. They got about 11 people that work in that shop and they're freaking awesome. Uh, big shout out to Blake Wilkes, who also, competitive shooter, a lot better than me. <laughs> Uh, he uses these guys as well. So let's do this. We're going to go ahead and save. And what that's going to do is we're going to start a new series. And like I said, this whole thing is going to uh, record all your all your regular standard deviation, uh, rounds, all, all kinds of cool stuff. So I'm going to run 12 rounds through each one of the guns. Now, of course, out here at this game lands, this reason it's a game lands, you only can allow six rounds. And in the previous video that I shot where I didn't have my audio hooked up, because there's a bunch of really cool dudes here, and I'm going to put those guys at the end and show you something fun. All right, so I'm going to put my pills down because I can't think straight. This is going to be the Legion X5 using 124 grain. And what we're looking for, not necessarily accuracy, because we're going to do an accuracy test on these guys tomorrow. But I want to see what our standard deviation is and our average speed. And we'll look at that once we get back to the, to the office. 1,100. Isn't that cool? If you're shooting a rifle, you don't ever have to come off of the rifle to hear what your, your velocity is. 1,156. 1,130. 1,174. 1,173. Woo! 1,179. 1,147. Uh-oh. Ended up with an error. Or a double. Nope. 1,159. 1,131. 1,165 1,163 I'll tell you what, uh, my favorite pistol. I'm thinking about going ahead and getting an Atlas Titan fitted for a uh, cut for an optic. But I'm going to tell you something, since we put this thing on right here, the hell's the name of that, folks? We'll just do it like that. Okay, so what we're going to do, I'm going to go ahead and add another firearm to this, okay? Uh, this is going to be FN. This is a 509C Edge. And it's a really cool gun. Would I ever carry it? Uh, no. This is a very expensive gun for a very cool gun, as you can see. Um, we're going to do a tabletop on this one. I'm going to bring it out tomorrow and also check it. We're going to put some rounds through it. When I carry a five, what do I carry? Smith & Wesson M&P 45. Compact. But the uh, muzzle velocity on this one, it's going to be kind of cool to see the average uh, between all these things. Let's see here. Yeah, I only got 11 shots on that one. Average speed, 
was 11.52. Here we go. Hmm. Well. 1,103. 1,092. 1,093. 1,099. I wonder what happens if you double tap. Well, well, shit, that only picked up four of the rounds. Interesting. Might be too close. One thousand and eighty seven. Yep. One thousand and ninety five. One thousand and ninety four. One thousand and sixty two. One thousand one hundred and eight. All right. Pretty neat. That's cool. All right, guys. KB32 here. Check it out. We're sitting out here at the range at 944. And we're going to do a little uh, test for the Callaway Ballistics 124 grain 9 millimeter hollow points. That's right. These are my competition rounds. Now, I have uh, done this before, but didn't quite uh, have my other cameras with me. So this time we do. And after this, we're going to check the muzzle velocity and we're going to check standard deviation using the new Pro Chrono chronograph from the guys over there at uh, what the hell they call these things? Velocity measurement four. I guess it's made by Competition Electronics. Yes, that's right. Nothing like being professional during the video. So, anyway, let's do this. Um, I'm going to be shooting this guy right here. This is a Legion X5. Okay. And. Uh, We'll see how she runs. But uh, here we're gonna do six, we'll do 12 shots, see what that rounds up is. Now here's the thing, guys, I use these mounts so that I can shoot somewhat accurately because I shoot like shit. And of course, here comes a bunch of people. All right. So this is a uh, Lupol Delta Point Pro. I've already had one of these things go bad a little door popped open and broke so that it wouldn't hold a battery. Everybody asked me, I wonder if I could do it like this. No, it won't come close. All right, I've done this before. So it's really nice to clamp that thing in there. It allows for some recoil, which you do need, okay? But, but again, I do this because I'm a horrible shot. If you want to see a good shot, go see the Hunan. I'll put a link down below. All right, so here we go. 25 yards, all right. I'm gonna turn that down a little bit. There we go. All right. Get her warmed up. All right, so let's go ahead and pop six more. We'll see what happens. Two, three, four, five, six. All right, here we go. Not bad. Got a couple spreaders there, but let's get on down there and take a look at it. Here we go. Stand by. All right. We got a good little number here. Uh, the first hits over here, y'all saw them before I did. And uh, 
but it basically that's why i have problems shooting out the distance and i have to brace off of something that's really cool so with that being said guys let's get on to the velocity and the standard deviation stand by all right guys kb32 here check it out we're sitting over here at the 944 range it's a public range and i'm trying to test some ammo out with uh the boys from a, what callaway ballistics this is the 124 grain open tip and this is what i use in competition i got a 25 yard zero so this target you're seeing right now right over there is at 25 yards now i'm a horrible shot which is why we're going to use the caldwell precision turret and uh see how it goes now there's a young man and his uh, father over there doing some shooting, so you can go hear some shooting over there. But I use the turret because I'm a horrible shot. And after we get done with doing this, we're gonna chrono this stuff. So let us see if I can do pretty good. Now, this is using a six inch barrel from the guys over there, Army Craft, along with their uh, muzzle brake. So let's see how we do. if I hit that. Oh, that's up high. Way high. It's all over the place. Try to put the dot in the same place. Oops. There we go. Really light spring on this thing. Okay. Ah, not too good, for, but the best I can do. All right, we'll do six more rounds. I might try another pistol here in a second, see if we can get any better grippings out of it. Usually I'm getting about two and a half inches out of this thing. If y'all want to see some real shooting, I got a guy named Oscar and another dude named Hunod, along with Blake Welks. Those guys are shooters. Hey, Mr. Greg. Hell, I shoot better freehand. Alright, let's do this. I got a little treat for you guys. Stand by. All right, this is a 509C <laughs> Edge. I don't even know if this thing's zeroed or not. I got this from my buddy Val. So let's see at 25 yards, if I put my camera up, which I, I have it of doing, right? Uh, but we'll see if, how close this thing uses the same. I know this is the 509 FN, right? Uh, hell, I don't know if it's a four and a half inch barrel. It's sitting on top. Got a hollow sun on top of it. Let's go ahead and put it in the clamp. Ah, oh, shit, the clamp doesn't even clamp down. All right, that's fine. Watch this. And then, it, ow, that felt good. Let me just do it like this. Watch that thumb, dumbass. Oh, shit. Mm -mm. Good God. Yeah, I'll wait a second. We can see what we're doing here. Oh, I fucking yanked that one. The trigger on this pistol is horrible yep that ain't good good I ain't gonna waste no more ammo all right next test is we're gonna do uh most. okay stand by here we go this thing sucks All right, guys, this is hilarious. I want to come out here and shoot, and so does everybody else in the entire free world. All right, guys, so we just finished up doing that horrible grouping. One of the things I want to do is check for standard deviation, uh, extreme spread, and muzzle velocity in general. So what we'll do is we've got the chronograph up there, uh, the DLX. And what we've done is this guy is tethered to my tablet here. 
So I'm going to go through the process. Uh, after I get used to this guy for a little while, we'll go ahead and uh, get it all set up, and we'll do something a little bit more special. All right, but right now I just want to show you guys how it works. All right, so here we go. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and open up the app. Then I'm going to move forward, and I'm going to go ahead and turn the chrono on. And it should go ahead and just tether. All right, let's see how long it takes to tether it up. Hopefully not long. <laughs> there it goes. All right, so today we're shooting, again. like I said earlier, we're shooting the uh, Callaway Ballistics. Have some fun with this thing, and we'll go from there. Here we go. One thousand one hundred and seventy-seven. One thousand one hundred and sixty-four. One thousand one hundred and sixty-five. One thousand one hundred and forty-seven. Okay. One thousand one hundred and forty-two. All right, so what I want to do now, that we've already ripped that whole string, so we're going to do another one. This is going to be test two. And we'll go ahead and just save that. And this is uh, going to start us all over again. All right, so we'll do a six round, see how that turns out. And this thing is pretty cool because it calls it out. So you don't even have to come off the rifle if you're shooting. 1,000 One thousand one hundred and forty seven. One thousand one hundred and fifty two. One thousand one hundred and forty eight. One thousand one hundred and fifty six. One thousand one hundred and sixty two. Isn't that cool? All right. So let's get on back to the shop and we'll talk about the rest of it. Y'all be good. Here we go.